be what we do today, just starting in our mountain pose for our warm ups. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Keep the core activated, ribs towards your spine and up. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling, spread your toes out. Feel that base of the toe area and heel evenly distributing your weight. Take a moment to breathe, feeling the belly move out as you let those lungs expand and sink back in as you exhale. Just notice how you're feeling this morning or afternoon or whenever this is for you. Exhale any tension. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down. Stretch the fingertips out, up through your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you. Just clasp the fingers, press them down. Lift your heart. Stretch your head back, spread your toes out, and stretch your spine. Exhale over, pivoting at your hips and lifting your hands. Move your chin around, let the neck release a little more. Take a breath or two, but as the sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs and the whole back of your body. And then bend your knees, tuck your chin slightly, and work your way up. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, drop your shoulders, spread your toes. Nice back bend, getting the whole body opening. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment breathing, feeling that inner focus, noticing your body today. Inhaling, arms to shoulder level. Exhale to your heart, out to the front. And clasp your hands behind you the opposite way. So other finger outside. Lift your heart again and stretch the spine in the back bend. And then once more, pivot over right at the hips. Hands up, head down, deepen as much as you'd like. Take a breath or two, exhaling into it. And then again, with your knees slightly bent, work all the way back up. And once more, a back bend with the chest high and the shoulders down. Take a moment, lengthening out through the crown. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, releasing your arms. Again, feeling the spine, noticing how your body is working today. And let's do our side stretches next. So one hand down, the other arm out, shoulder down. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away from each other. Keep the arm next to your ear as you slide straight to the side, no twist. So your shoulders are facing the front, your hips are facing the front, your hand is reaching away, and the foot you're leaning away from pushes down a little extra for some stretch through the room. And then inhale up, exhale that arm down. Feel the difference on the two sides, so let's balance it out. Arm out. Palm up, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the arm by your ear, lean to the side, no twist. So make sure you're looking to the front, not down toward the floor or up toward the ceiling. Just a nice rib opening with the foot down and the hand reaching away from it. And inhale back to the top. Exhale back to mountain. Feel the sides both a little bit more stretched open as we get ready for our spine opening twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart. Arms again, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring them back by your ears, your arms by your ears, and sitting bones down. Stretch the spine open and exhale, twisting to one side. Another breath in, and exhale over. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, bring your head toward your leg, and just keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Inhale, slowly working your way up, and lift your heart, pull your elbows back and your shoulders down, coming into that upper body for your back bend, remember, Gentle on your low back in a twist. Take a breath or two, shoulders down, elbows back. 
Inhale up, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around, balancing things as we do in yoga. And again, stretch the spine apart, twist to the opposite side. Another breath in, and then exhale over. Take a breath, exhale and deepen. Just go as far as you'd like into that position, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment to breathe and lift your sitting bones. And on an inhalation coming up, work into that upper body back bend one more time. Remember, gentle in your low back. Take a breath or two, relaxing into it. Inhale, upright, exhale, round to the center, shoulders down, fingertips high, extended mountain. Just sink evenly into your feet. Feel that security and balance as you reach up through the crown. Sitting bones are down, shoulder blades are toward your waist. Take a moment just for you. Keep your arms next to your ears and then pivot at your hips. Bring your whole body parallel to the floor as much as you can. Stretch it, sitting bones and crown away from each other. And then drop into ragdoll. Pull in deeper if you like the stretch on your back with the hands behind your legs or not, your choice. And then hands to the front and start at the bottom of your spine to wind all the way back up into mountain pose once again. As you get there, just take a moment feeling your spine activate in all six directions. Forward bend, backward bend, side, side, and each twist. And just feel what's going on internally for you today. Keep that breath full and deep. Exhaling any stress or tension. And just noticing how your body is releasing and relaxing today. And then let's do our pelvic tilts. So angle the toes slightly up. So turning your whole leg. Back to the sides, knees going toward your second toes still. And then bend your knees above your toes, hands above your knees, and shoulders above your toes. So everything nice and straight as you start. And then sink the ribs, push the sitting bones back, and pull the chest forward, move to the front, back bending. And then pelvic tilt, tuck the sitting bones down and forward as you pull the ribs back. And shoulders forward slightly as you look down at the floor. Inhale into the back bend. Maximize for your spine, your body. Remember, no pressure in those knees. Exhale, and again, round forward. Get that core working. We're going to do a little bit with that today. So inhale, back bend, exhale, forward bend. And just feel your body. And then the next time you're forward, just pause, inhale your way back up, and again into mountain pose. Feel that midsection starting to get a little warmer. And bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow them toward the ceiling, thumbs toward the back, lifting your heart, a nice little back bend. Exhale and pivot over, lift your hips, and drop your hands. Slide your hands up under your knees in that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight, toes spread out, everything stretching away, so sitting bones and crown, opposite directions. And then exhale, bending your knees, coming to the floor into our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Again, knees together, get a good stretch on your back if you love it, or separate them and breathe more easily. Just take a moment, shoulders relaxing, deepen as much into that forward bend as you like. And then inhale your way up and come into a cross leg position. Sitting bones behind you, but remember, switch your legs because creatures of habit, we always start the same way. So let's start our non-habitual way. Core active, so those ribs toward your spine and up. And we're gonna do a little breathing exercise for that core. So shoulders above your hips, 
relax them back and down and crown toward the ceiling. You can keep your hands either palms up in your lap or you can put them on your knees, however you like. So we're going to focus on that midsection. And as you bring your awareness into the belly, you might want to move your hands there. Just fingertips right on that soft part of the solar plexus. And we're going to heat that up. That's the abdominal focus point for our yoga system. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, blow out through your lips as if you're blowing out a candle. A deep breath in. Just a short, short, sharp exhalation. And then we're going to try to do that through the nose. So inhale and exhale through the nose. That's still short, sharp breath. And just feel that midsection respond, whichever way you're doing it. If the nose is hard, and it is, it takes a little practice. You might want to stick with the mouth exhalation for a little bit. So we're going to do that 10 times. And want to, I want you to feel the motion in that solar plexus belly area. And I also want you to feel the heat rising. So just take a breath in and exhale, in, exhale. And then as you get back to your normal breath, just notice if you feel a little bit maybe warmer after your exhalations. And then switch your legs around because, you know, we like to do that. And take a moment. And we're going to do that one more time just for practice. So again, you can keep your hands there or you can keep your hands on your knees or you can put them palms up in your lap, however feels comfortable for you. And then one breath in and then the exhalation in, out, in, out, and just emphasize that exhalation. Okay, starting. And again, just take a moment, noticing what's going on after our breath of fun. And then we're going to use the breath of fire as we do a little bit more abdominal work today. So for our first one, let's um, go up on our hands and knees. So wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up, knees and hips and feet lined up, and keep those ribs up getting that core activated to support your low back in table position, looking down between your thumbs. Remember, if your wrists get too uncomfortable, you can put the fists down just gently and allow your wrists to be straight while you're in this position. Shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist and sitting bones and crown reaching away. Feel that core activating. And then in this position, we're just going to do a breath of fire to start with. So go ahead, inhalation and 10 exhalations, breath of fire. Out through your nose if you can, or your mouth if you need to. And just feel how that belly moves each time. And again, one more time. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away. Look between your thumbs, stretch that whole spine open, get those core muscles activated, and then your breath. Deep breath in, exhale, sink back onto your heels and circle your wrists if you need that. And then all the way into child's pose. Deep breath in, and just let everything relax. And then as you inhale, sit up on your heels, bring your legs out to the front, and all the way to the end of your mat. So, staff position, get the core supporting you, sitting bones slightly behind you, shoulders above your ankles, 
Press out through your heels, pull the toes back, staff position. Relax your legs, activate your core. We're gonna use it for support. So just slowly rolling all the way onto your back. So rounding your back, coming all the way down onto your sacrum and then onto those lower ribs and onto your shoulder blades. And finally, your shoulders coming down and your head to the floor. Take a moment there, just breathing. Hands, palms up slightly away from your sides. Just a reclined integration, relaxing your whole body. Let the belly soften. Take a breath. Tension out. And then toes up, bend your knees, and sitting bones slightly toward your heels as you pull your heels in toward your sitting bones. Put your feet flat on the floor, right next to your hips. And then press the back all the way down, sitting bones going further toward your heels. Feel that whole belly move down, that arch in your back kind of flatten toward the floor, and those ribs sink in as you contract that core down. And then we're going to just do our back strengthener and core toner. So slide the sitting bones back toward you as you arch from the shoulder blades to the sitting bones with that back of your body arching up, lifting the ribs. So arching as high as your back wants to do, and then exhale and slide it down. Inhale and arch it up. So we're going to do that breath of fire along with this. So as you breathe in, arch up, and then really exit down. In, arching up, exhaling, pulling that whole rib and spine and belly down. And just as fast or slow as you'd like, you can just keep doing it at this experimental pace or you can do it at the pace you were doing while we were breath of firing. And again, just release to neutral. Feel the heat in your belly. And allow your whole body just to relax. Allow all the awareness to be right there at that solar plexus, right between your ribs, beneath the sternum, above your navel, that midpoint of your torso. Feel the heat there. And then press your back just gently down. We're going to turn the palms up. And then shoulder blades toward your waist, pressing the back down. Lift your heart. And lift your hands and push your hands toward your feet. So toward the end of the mat. And then from this position, we're again going to do that breath of fire. So once again, you can do it fast or slow, do it at your own pace, taking the breath in and then emphasizing the exhalation. And then on the breath in, just bring the whole body back down, relax your shoulders, release your hands, extend your legs, and take a moment to breathe. Again, a nice little reclined integration, feeling that belly still a little bit warmer. And that breath just relaxing completely, shoulders down toward the floor. Hands, palms up, slightly away from your side. You can turn those toes toward each other and just let the whole body relax. Take a moment, exhale any tension. And then we're going to do a variation, of course. So again, feet hip width apart, toes up toward the ceiling, pressing out through the heels. Take a moment to breathe just normally. Sitting bones slightly toward your heel back, pressing slightly down. Lift the heart, so keep the chin up away from the chest, but if that's too much for you, you can bring your hands behind your head. Otherwise, lift your hands and reach them toward your toes. 
So remember, push your head into your hands if you've got your hands behind your head. You don't want that neck doing the work. You want the heart lifting. So coming into that position, let's just practice that for a moment without our breathing. Lifting the heart, either head in your hands, pressing the head into the hands, or reaching the hands up off the floor and toward your toes. Heart lifting, that's your focal point, feeling that core supporting you. And then inhale, back down. <clears throat> Take a moment and breathe, just normally. Exhale, any tension. So we're going to go up into that starting position, either hands toward your feet, pushing out with the shoulders and shoulder blades, of course, toward your waist, or hands behind your head with the head pushing down. But again, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And that core activated so that that solar plexus is working to support you and the heart is lifting. So we're going to do that one more time with the breath of fire. So again, find your position, toes up toward the ceiling, and lift your heart, lift your hands, reach toward your toes, or bring them back behind your head. Press your head into your hands if that's working for you. And again, whichever position you're in, the heart is lifting, that core is activated, pressing slightly down, and taking the breath in, 10 breaths of fire. And whenever you're done, inhale your way back down, just relax once again. Take a moment to breathe. Let everything relax, soften your belly, feel that warmth throughout your whole midsection. And then bringing your arms straight out from your sides, palms up at T position, we'll do our twist. So again, a little core activity for us today. Sitting rest toward your heels, back pressing down. Inhale, bring your right leg up, either bend it and straighten, or lift it straight up either way. Flex the foot, push the foot to the ceiling, push that core down. And we're gonna roll all the way to the left side. So come on to your left side, head is down, don't overwork your neck. Bring your hands together, your foot to the floor. If you can bring your foot up into your hand, you can do that. Otherwise, hold your leg and then bring your right leg or right hand up to the ceiling. So look up at the hand and as you exhale, just gently lower that hand behind you. Straight at shoulder level, not down towards your foot or up towards your head. Just opening across the chest into the twist as much as your body wants. Looking back toward that hand going gravity pulling it and relaxing. The more you hold your foot in your hand in the front and push it away, the more that lower back gets in the twist, the more your head turns, it's the neck area twist. And the more the arm comes toward the floor, it's the middle back twist. So just do what's right for your body. Like gravity, pull that hand, don't force it. And then as we're in your final position, wherever that might be, Breath of fire, one breath in and 10 exhalations. Deep breath in, just exhale, let that hand maybe come a little deeper into your twist. And then releasing your foot, roll onto your back and flex the foot, shoulders down. Lead with the heel, use that core for support, and lower the right leg to the floor. Completely relax as you get down and get ready because, yeah, we're going to do the twist to the opposite direction, balancing our body and our energy. So, once more, feet hip width apart and inhale, left foot up toward the ceiling, <clears throat> either straight or bend it first, and then extend it as high as it wants to go. Again, we're rolling all the way on the exhalation over, this time to the right. Foot to the floor, head down, hands together. Bring that foot up into your hand if that works for you. Knee as straight as it wants to be. And left arm up. You can hold your leg and keep the foot. Inhale, and as you exhale, let the hand lower. 
as far as gravity wants to bring you. And again, head turning for your neck area twist, holding that foot and pressing it away for the lower back twist and hand working toward the floor. Once more, as you're in your final position, wherever that may be, the hand can be up, don't worry about it. Just like gravity, do that work <clears throat> and get you ready for your breath of five. Take a breath 10 times. And as you exhale, just let it relax. Deepening your twist as much or as little as you like it on this side. And again, just breathing normally, release your foot, roll onto your back, straighten things out, flexing the foot, using that core for support, heel leading as you slowly lower the leg to the mat. And get ready for our final relaxation. Hands palms up at your sides. Just relaxing, natural curve to your spine, shoulders sinking down, letting that chest rise, exhale, no more breaths of breath, just exhale and soften, letting your body sink, deepening into that surface beneath you, feeling that warmth still in your body and letting it go. Deep breaths in, Exhale, let it release. And as you breathe more fully, just allow your body to completely release any tension, sinking deep into that surface beneath you, letting the earth support you, allowing your body just to soften, especially through that midsection. We've been using those core muscles today. Just breathing without any tension now. Let your body go deep into that earth embrace. Exhale, let everything relax. And as you breathe more deeply, just allow your whole body to exhale any tightness and sink. Letting go of awareness of your body, just let other thoughts flow in and out without attention. Just allow your whole body and your mind to release any awareness of this moment. Just focusing on that peace within, letting your mind drift, the body soften. Thoughts of the past or future just disappear from your attention. Just bring that peace into focus. Feeling your body, feeling your belly, feeling your being, feeling your mind, just being peace. And keep relaxing if you have the time today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching as you're ready. And whenever you're ready for your Final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, 
Gently press your back down as you bring your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels right for you today, giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.